Uh, the uh, topic is drug prevention, grants, and business. And I think that uh, Ms. Uh, Greenlee and Ms. Fletcher have given us uh, some information in reference to uh, the drug prevention and the connection in a real sense between drug prevention, grants, and a business. Mm -hmm. And so let's uh, pick up, let's okay. have you, uh, Ms. Fletcher, too, uh, make mm -hmm. some statements in reference to what she has to say, and then we'll come back to uh, Ms. Greenlee. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, to just piggyback off of what she said, anytime that you are trying to do something good, you're going to always have opposition, and mm -hmm. we know that. Uh, but what can be disheartening is when you make an effort to do things in the community, to give mm -hmm. our youth something mm -hmm. positive to mm -hmm. look to, something positive to do. Mm -hmm. And when you receive opposition, even from, and in my case, I had an experience where I wanted to do an event uh, for young people, and it included uh, the age group that we've seen a lot of violence mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. lately. Mm -hmm. And I got so much opposition from um, a law enforcement contact that I had spoken mm -hmm. with, um, mm -hmm. and even to the point of speaking to me in, a, in terms of being rude mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. <laughs> asking me why would I want to take the time mm -hmm. to do an event with mm -hmm. the age group mm -hmm. that I was mm -hmm. focused mm -hmm. on because I wasn't going to make any money mm -hmm. and um, wanted to, and because a lot of the events that I do involve um, celebrity people, whether it be athletes, mm -hmm. entertainers, I already know that security mm -hmm. is going to be my first priority anyway. But even though I said, you know, well, I understand what your point is, but we really want to do this. We really want, it, we think it'll look good too. It'll be good for the national community mm -hmm. as well and our kids because so many community centers have closed and things of that mm -hmm. nature at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, he said to me that basically they wouldn't support it mm -hmm. and on the campus and that he would make sure I was charged double mm -hmm. to secure it mm -hmm. so that it would actually discourage me from doing it because let me make sure you don't make money mm -hmm. because if you have to double the security mm -hmm. because we don't want to be bothered, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then would you really do the event? And that, that blew mm -hmm. me away mm -hmm. because to me, you would want me to, to do more, to, to, to do positive, crime and, to produce, and exactly. Uh -huh, so, and violence and killing mm -hmm. and whatever. So to have that firsthand, it was, you know, it was, it was a shock. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, wow, you really don't want me to do this? Understanding that mm -hmm. safety is key mm -hmm. and that wasn't my issue. Mm -hmm. And I actually told him I agree with him that mm -hmm. we want to do things that, mm -hmm. that would secure. So let me, let me do the things, okay, so we won't do a three-on-three -three inside. Let's mm -hmm. bring it inside for them mm -hmm. so we can help secure. So I'm trying to give mm -hmm. solutions mm -hmm. to make sure that it's a better right. or more secure mm -hmm. event. But every turn, it mm -hmm. was something mm -hmm. that would tell me, we're just not going mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. We're not going to help yeah. you do anything yeah. positive. And, and <laughs> so you would agree that uh, you don't find that much uh, cooperation Mm -hmm. With uh, many people, when you get out and you say you that they, we're having problems with gun violence and murder and all of these things, that mm -hmm. you really don't find the kind of support that you need, mm -hmm. nor do mm -hmm. you find the uh, financial resources that are necessary. Uh, is that mm -hmm. what is that what we're saying here? That's what we exactly what we're saying. Uh, you know what we said earlier. You know, crime is a business, mm -hmm. and so you stepping on other people's toes is not just they devil's money. That's mm -hmm. what I was told that. Uh, mm -hmm. The what happened to me with the feds coming mm -hmm. in with me. They said, Miss Clemmy, you stepped on some toes mm -hmm. in the corporate business and you mm -hmm. started taking away some devil's money. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't understand the devil's money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then I had to realize the devil's money is when you bust me or pull me over for tenant windows, that's your probable okay. cause. Uh -huh. But I just so happened to have $3,000 in my pocket because okay. I just sold my drugs. I got a thousand pills in my pocket because I'm on the way to drop off some, mm -hmm. and I got a gun back here. Mm -hmm. So this this is my survival kit of who I am. Mm -hmm. But when you get to me, get to court, mm -hmm. well then the court showed that I had two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. twenty five pills, and no gun. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute. I know what I had, know where the cut go. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't go to my family. Mm -hmm. It didn't go to my bank account. It didn't even go to the, my community. But don't nobody want to touch base on that. So every time I say, when are we going to touch base on the real truth? Mm 
-hmm. That we got a hard, long fight with the government, true enough. Mm -hmm. And I won't wait to have for my time, because it'll be in another lifetime, mm -hmm. to even fight with the government. But I'm not scared mm -hmm. to speak against the government and the stuff I see, because they, they fail to realize I was in the streets for 20-some odd years, so I saw the system mm -hmm. being broken and being dirty. Mm -hmm. And this is why I wanted to come in with the, with the drug prevention, which is the X-Pills, mm -hmm. the grants, which is, I'm saying, local people do not get grants that easy mm -hmm. without always have to have a corporate business over it mm -hmm. so it can oversee what you're doing. Yeah. If they see I'm doing too much with that money, they're going to tell me now, come, you cannot buy no more ink pens with mm -hmm. that money. <laughs> well, the ink pens came for me to teach that little girl how to read. Now I can't mm -hmm. even buy ink pens. So that's why a lot of times we didn't even get their grant money because mm -hmm. they're going to tell me what I can do and who I can serve. Yeah. The business party of crime is a business, so they're going to try to stop me as, as much as they can, mm -hmm. but I'm coming back with them with another business of the aspect of, of, of the organization. That's why I was bringing Ms. Fletcher in to talk about her nonprofit organization mm -hmm. let them know that we're back in business. Mm -hmm. I'm still standing and I'm going to continue to stand and I'm mm -hmm. going back out there in the street. I never stop really. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to make sure that my, the community understand without their support, mm -hmm. I need the community support. I don't need the mayor's support. I don't need uh, uh, elected official support. I don't really need the police department support. Mm -hmm. I really don't. I mm -hmm. need the community support mm -hmm. because we're the one losing, not them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and you find that uh, to be a real problem uh, with the sisters uh, organization that you're involved with, Ms. Blake? Well, it's not so much that it's a, it's a, from a nonprofit perspective, mm -hmm. the economy has impacted many of us that mm -hmm. are in the nonprofit mm -hmm. profit perspective in a great way. Mm -hmm. So the realization as a nonprofit, it's a business. So the realization is we understand you have to diversify where your funding is coming from. Mm -hmm. Can you sustain yourself only on a grant today? Mm -hmm. No, because you got to be able to have a mixture, mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. it's grant funding, uh, public funding at the mm -hmm. same time, mm -hmm. individual contributors and things of that nature. But we realize that no matter where you serve, uh, whether you're for-profit or non-profit, mm -hmm. you need the community involvement to help back mm -hmm. what you're doing mm -hmm. for the volunteerism, for the staffing. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, we can produce a lot of resources for our kids, mm -hmm. but we understand there's just three people sitting here. Mm -hmm. You know, can all three of us touch every mm -hmm. young person um, that we desire to? No, mm -hmm. but collectively, mm -hmm. as more and more organizations team together mm -hmm. and pull your resources, mm -hmm. can you? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. so that's really what we want to do is pull our resources and work together. Okay, well, we've got about two and a half minutes. What, what, what do you see as the ultimate solution? I mean, uh, certainly you need community support, but you also need resources. I, 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 how, how do you uh, meet that? I mean, what do you do in order to, uh, uh, if you're going to continue to help uh, the young people that you're trying to help, what do you do? Well, I mean, the only thing you can continue to, to do is just plead to the community. I mean, you know, the community is just the answer. There's no going mm -hmm. over nothing big, nothing fancy. It is the community. Mm -hmm. Once the community, because the community in them households themselves, mm -hmm. they are the resources. Mm -hmm. They just don't know it yet because mm -hmm. they're not being told that that's they what are. I'm, that's what I'm wondering. You know, it's, the community is such a large thing mm -hmm. in a real sense, mm -hmm. but you got to be able to touch it. And you got to, yes. uh, what, what do you do? Do you try to deal with the churches? Or do you try to deal with, uh, what? I, well, mean, I think what, you do. I think there's, there's not a perfect answer, mm -hmm. but I think it's a combination. Mm -hmm. I do think that it's churches because mm -hmm. so many of us are guided by mm -hmm. um, our spirits. Mm -hmm. Do I think that there is a, a, co a corporate or a business mm -hmm. involvement in it? Yes, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. economics in mm -hmm. so many ways mm -hmm. are the key. Mm -hmm. Do I think that it's from a political standpoint? Did you need that type of support? Mm -hmm. Yes, because yeah, that's yeah, the way of, of the world. Yeah. Um, it's just having more people stand mm -hmm. or take a stand mm -hmm. with, uh, whether it be individuals mm -hmm. in the community, other organizations, with our kids, um, and doing something that truly at the end of the day, it's impactful. We can raise a lot of money for cancer research, mm -hmm. but at the same time, if you don't get the resources that you need mm -hmm. to fight or to actually put back into the medical mm -hmm. science mm -hmm. of cancer, mm -hmm. what are we doing? So mm -hmm. it's kind of that same way. Yeah. You're gonna need financial resources mm -hmm. in order to be able to put back into the community mm -hmm. to develop what we need to. Well, See. we've got about 50 seconds, 57 seconds. Uh, 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 
Ms. Greenlee, for final statement. I, I, what, my what? final statement is community. Please contact me. I am still standing. GalaxyStarPeacemakers.org. Mm -hmm. Contact me. And, and you're still doing what you And I'm still doing to do, uh, what before. I was trying to do before uh, the devil come knock mm -hmm, on my door. Mm -hmm. And I told him that I want 800 Jesus. Uh -huh, Get out of uh, my way. Uh-huh. And, 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 and so you, your organization is standing with uh, this organization and you're all trying to work together mm -hmm. in order to make the community conscious. We're standing of, as people because uh -huh. it's mm -hmm. important to stand together mm -hmm. as people. Mm -hmm. And to make the to community make conscious of, of, yeah. of what is going on. Exactly. And, that, and that, that it can really make a difference yeah, in what exactly. they do. Yes. Okay, very exactly. good. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week to another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.